an experienced teacher and the product, I suppose, of a very traditional teacher training, working alongside a young teacher like Naomi really reinvigorated my approaches to, to, to teaching overall. For me, it was almost like co-teaching provided this symbiotic relationship where I was teaching but learning at the same time. Um, so the students were getting the opportunity of having different people explain concept, concepts to them and design the lessons and the activities. But I was benefiting from working alongside a colleague that had very different life experiences to me, um, had uh, more currency around the curriculum and was uh, very, very good with technology. Lorenda and I always discussed the lessons before and after and it allowed me to make sure I was slowing down and ensuring the students had really learned the content. Um, Loretta has a wealth of knowledge about history and the English canon, and the students and I really benefited um, from that contextual information being brought to life. Well, in TAS, we're usually the sole teacher of um, our subjects, so having the opportunity to co-teach um, has given me a chance to work with two other TAS teachers that are very highly skilled in you know, their specialty area. I've been able to build new skills, learning from them, um, which has, you know, really helped me. And I also really enjoy the fact that we're able to uh, create engaging experiences for students by brainstorming new ideas with all of our specialty areas coming together um, and being able to overcome challenges very quickly because there's three of us. So it's been really good. The new learning spaces allowed us to be flexible with groupings for students. So although we often worked in a large group together, at times we also had breakaway groups that would leave with myself or Loretta and get extra help. Um, those groups were selected based on our observations and also by student request. Students who were responsible were also allowed to sometimes go into smaller spaces for collaborative work, which lowered the class volume while still allowing for collaboration. Yeah, we sort of used the iHub, we used the tiered seating and we just used the opportunities, I suppose, to spread out across the home base, uh, working in smaller groups without that interrupting that flow of collaboration for everyone else um, meant that it was really about differentiating the learning to suit the various students' needs. Um, I suppose the other thing it gave us was it enabled us to work um, more closely with each student. and. Just in those interactions, Naomi and I learned so much about the students and then we were able to take that information as part of the planning of our lessons. Uh, it was really that you know, element about knowing your students um, and we could focus on their growth and development um, using that information that we acquired. The actual flexibility of the space allows very specific targeted pedagogies to be used depending on where you are in the space. So my favourite thing to do personally is start off the students on the tiered seating so that we have group instruction and then afterwards I would pull out a small group while the other two groups, depending on which class they're in and depending what skills they need updating or helping with, I could teach them in a specific very teacher directed teacher focused area and then the other students could be working independently in the other two or three spaces around. Similarly, if I wanted to run like a, for example, like a horseshoe type lesson where there's lots of question and answers while there's another group doing some practical work, that's definitely possible in the space. And like the other two have said, co-teaching and flexible spaces for me, and I think I speak for the other two as well, they go hand in hand. I think with that as well, Ray, um, like you said, you know, we, we're actually, we are TAS teachers and as TAS teachers, a lot of our subjects are really focused more on the practical side of things and less, you know, that um, it's more about, um, it's less about the teacher directed learning and more about, you know, student led learning. And with what this um, flexible learning space really allows us to do is, you know, get into that more practical side of things and not being limited by, oh, we only have this room or we only have these type of tables. We're really able to mold the space into what we need it to be specifically for us as TAS teachers. Um, for example, we have a vertical garden unit um, that wouldn't be made possible if we were just in a regular classroom. So we're able to really go outside the classroom and utilize, um, you know, our outdoor learning as spaces as well to be able to physically plants and um, grow our plants 